Welcome to Corporal's Corner. Today I want to talk about two simple deadfalls that you can carve in a matter of minutes, or in this case, set up in a few seconds. So stick around. I want to go ahead and kick this off and say that I'm not a fan of carving primitive deadfall traps. And the reason why is, well, there's two reasons why. Everybody's go-to deadfalls are going to be either a promontory peg, Paiute deadfall, or a figure four. And with those, you can do things to make them easier, but bottom line, you're going to carve them out. And there's two things I've always seen that go wrong with these things. And the first one's going to be accuracy. You can be deadly accurate with these things to the point where they lock together under the weight of that log or that rock and they do not pull apart or come apart. So the next morning you walk out there, the trap is empty, and it's still sitting upright. The bait was taken, it didn't work. But I've seen them not accurate enough, and the parts want to pull away or roll away from each other, and I've watched people sit there and fight these things for five, 10 minutes trying to get it to work right. That to me is time management. And say I wanted to put out 10 or 20 of these, it was taking me 20 minutes on each one, do the math, I'm wasting time. So the second thing I want to talk about real quick that I've seen go wrong with these things is that a lot of times the traps are damaged or broken under the weight of that rock or that lock. And you got to recarve the entire set or bits and pieces of it to make it work again. And then we come back to time. Now we're fighting with stuff, repairing stuff just to get it to work. And if I have 10 of them and five are damaged, I'm back out there for two hours trying to fix everything. So that's why I'm not a fan of these. So anything I can look at to make things easier, I'm going to gravitate towards that. So today I want to talk about two deadfalls. One's pre-assembled, and one you have to carve. But there's a twist to it, and you can carve it in probably about a minute and set it up in seconds. Let's go ahead and kick this off with a pre-made figure four deadfall. The PDF four deadfall comes pre-assembled. It's lightweight and collapsible. It comes in a bag of five and retails for about $44 at the Self-Reliance Outfitters website. Now this thing goes up in seconds. All you gotta do, have the arrow pointing away from you where it says PDF4, pull your bait stick to your right, and line it up, and then pinch it right here. So there's PDF4, arrow's pointing away from me, and rotate it over, lock in place. And just like Ron Popeil's rotisserie, you set it and forget it. Now, real quick before I step this trap off, I want you to notice the fulcrum. Right here, where the deadfall weight is at, it's actually designed to kick the entire trap free of that dead weight. This minimizes the breakage we talked about earlier, but most importantly, it won't create any voids underneath there where the animal can escape. Simple, almost too easy. The last thing I wanna talk about with this deadfall trap so on the back here, on your bait stick, you have a couple of barbs and a series of three holes. Now, this is meant to actually build a skewer, a piece of meat or cheese. You can smear peanut butter on here. And the three holes, you can even lash bait or even artificial bait to that bait stick. It's good to go. Too easy. Should be illegal. Now, if I have to carve a trap, I'm going to carve one that resembles a promontory peg. But I'm not going to use this promontory peg. All we're going to do is carve the promontory peg, add a piece of string, and we're done. Carving this next trap is pretty simple. All we're going to do is we're going to grab a stick about the diameter of our pinky, and we're going to go ahead and make two stop cuts. One on this side, and one exactly opposite of it. 
Then all we're going to do, we're going to apply some pressure. It should pop apart just like that. Then all we got to do is clean this up a little bit. So once you go ahead and clean these up, all we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cut off a good half inch or so right there. We're pretty much done. All we're going to do is crown this end right here. That way there's less surface area against our deadfall. Make it more of a hair trigger. I'm going to tie a jam knot with some bank line around this end right here and run it to the back side of my trap. So the shorter one, tie our jam knot. I got number 12 bank line. You can use number 36 if you want. That's our slip knot with an overhand knot or pretzel knot becomes a jam knot. So we're utilizing the same knots for different things, but we're doing them over and over and over again. Now most deadfalls deal with a bait stick. We're going to deal with a bait string. Anything that comes in contact with this string by bumping it or biting it, it's going to set the trap off. So here's the part where you have to think ahead. Go out there and find that log or that rock ahead of time and get the length. Okay? We're going to use the length of this log to determine the length of our bait stick. On the opposite end, I take that string and tie it to a T handle. So all we're going to do. Take the bottom half of our post, stick it right here. The ground's muddy, so I got a piece of wood to put down. A rock will also work. Take my log, jam it to the back side of that T-handle. Go to the top part of my post. And it's set. And the true beauty of this deadfall is that we're dealing with a bait string versus a bait stick. So that gives me the option of placing that bait anywhere I want along this string. And like I mentioned before, if anything comes in contact with that string by bumping it or biting it, it's a done deal. Welcome back. Once again, we have two more examples of simplicity at its best. And if trapping truly is a numbers game, meaning the more traps you have, the higher percentage you have of actually getting something, I'm going to go with those first time, every time. Thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun. I'm going to catch you next time.